We are never camping at Gulf State Park again. This time was it. We love it here, but we can't get over the stress and anxiety that happens for us every time we visit Gulf State Park. Stick around and we'll share with you our experience of the bad and good of Gulf State Park, especially the campground and all it has to offer. Let's get started. Coming up later, we'll make sure you know why we will never go back. But right now, let's discuss the location and pricing. Gulf State Park is located between Gulf Shores and Orange Beach in Alabama's sliver of the Gulf of Mexico seashore. The turquoise coast is magnificent, and Alabama did it right by protecting thousands of acres for the benefit of all. Gulf State Park is very affordable. Tent sites are about $30 per night. RV sites vary, and most of the sites are priced between $60 and $70 per night. The canal sites are in the $80 to $90 range. Pricing also varies depending on the time of year, weekday, or weekend. The park has hundreds of sites for RVers, and reservations can be made at alapark.com. We'll also include the link in our description. One reason we won't go back is due to its popularity. This year, before we drove home, we looked to book for next year, and all the sites were already booked full. You really have to plan to camp at Gulf State Park. Watch the whole video because you might just want to try to book a reservation, or maybe not. Right now, let's talk about the sites, and coming up next, we will discuss fun activities to do in the park. This is one of the largest campgrounds we've been to. There are over 400 sites. Most are full hookup sites with water, sewer, and electric. The electric has 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp outlets. If you turn on the 20 amp breaker, the night light on the power post will turn on. Many of the campsites have their own charm. Some of the pull-throughs offer almost complete seclusion. Sites on the canal provide a fantastic view of the waterway. You might even see an alligator swim by. Sites close to the pool allow for easy access to the tennis courts, pool, nature center, volleyball, and other activities. Campsites are well-maintained and each one is a little different. As you can see on the campground map, many of the pull-throughs are arcs off the main streets. These are unique in that they provide the hookups on the roadside and the camping site is usually facing a great view. Other than the canal road and sites near the front of the entrance, many pull-throughs face the woods or other parklands. Our most recent site seemed very secluded and quiet, although it was a long distance from the pool and other amenities. All the sites look level, as you would expect on the coast, and they are all paved asphalt, similar to the roads throughout the park. Say yes in the comments if you like to RV, and tell us your favorite campground while you are watching. Campground activities are next, and watch further to learn why we won't be back. There is so much to see and do at Gulf State Park. The swimming pool and splash pad is one of the best we've been to. We don't know if the pool is heated, but it always seems like a better alternative to the ocean when the weather is cool. The pool is also in a protected area with less wind. Tennis and pickleball courts are next to the pool and are often used. They also have basketball hoops on the courts. Tucked away behind the pool are horseshoe pits, beach volleyball, swings, and monkey bars. Throughout the park, hidden in plain sight, are a number of playgrounds with swings, climbing installations, and other equipment that will help you pass the time. There are many fishing spots along the inland ponds and lakes that are great for angling. A freshwater fishing license is required. Make sure to pack your bike and hiking or running shoes. There is so much to explore and discover. We'll discuss what the USA Today called the best recreational trail in the country a little later. But let's talk about the amenities you will find in the campground first. The campground has all you need to take care of chores during your stay. The bathhouses, there are at least 10, are well maintained with good showers, sinks, and toilets. Full service laundry is also available at the campground store building. The store has firewood, ice, logoed products like sweatshirts and t-shirts, snacks, RV supplies, and beach gear for purchase. They are also a good concierge if you have questions about the park and surrounding area. Bikes are also available for rent at the store facility. We are very surprised to find great Wi-Fi connectivity. I don't think I've ever been able to work at a campground through their Wi-Fi as well as here. It is better in the morning and gets slower throughout the day and into the evening. Gulf State Park is one of the few campgrounds we visit with recycling available. There is a blue bin and dumpsters near the entrance to the park. The blue bin is two-sided and has spots for cans, cardboard, glass, and plastic. Try to use the recycling bins for their purpose. We've seen beach chairs, plastic bags, and general garbage in the recycling, and it just makes it harder for the recycling company to do their job. Also at the entrance is a fish cleaning station. We saw it in use every morning. Here's another reason to not go back. We've noticed there are a lot of thunderstorms in the area during spring break. In fact, one year there was softball-sized hail a week after we left the park. Inclement and generally poor weather exists at the Gulf, and it isn't always sunny in 75. Let's talk about the trail system now, and coming up later we'll discuss the fishing pier. In 2023, the U.S. Banyan Backcountry Trail was designated the best recreational trail in the country by USA Today. The trail includes 28 miles of paved and boardwalk surface that allows access to the park. 
On the Gulf State Park Trail, you can see wildlife including birds, alligators, and other reptiles. Some of the birds you can see include osprey, eagle, seagulls, and pelican. Along the trail are many stops to enjoy recreation and relaxation. There is a parkour course, many benches and viewpoints, butterfly garden, the Gulf State Park Beach, and the fishing pier. You will also find a few bike tuning stations along the path and tools available for use. Water stations are also located conveniently throughout the park with drinking fountains, water bottle fill, and dog water is all included. Are you enjoying your time here at Camp Brood? Subscribe now to show us and to learn about camping and hiking in the national parks. When you are talking about a park like this, we have to have a dad joke. What did the pine trees wear to the ocean? Swim trunks. Joke books make great gift ideas. We will put two in our description that we recommend. Let's talk about the fishing pier next, and coming up we will tell you why dogs love the park too. The fishing pier sustained damage during Hurricane Sally. With sustained winds of 105 miles per hour and at least one gust over 120 miles per hour, the Category 2 hurricane traveled over the area at only 2 miles per hour, causing significant damage to the Alabama coastline. Today, the pier is open for fishing and licenses are required. There is a fee to visit the pier, and it varies based on your residency, camping in the park, and other factors. We'll put a link in our description with more details. Included on the pier is a gift, snack, and bait shop, beachside bar and grill, fillet table, and modern bathrooms. On calm days, you can see a variety of fish from the pier, including sharks, rays, manatee, and game fish, including mackerel, sheep's head, and flounder, to name a few. Dogs are next, and coming up, we will share what you can find close to the park. Dogs love Gulf State Park. There are miles of road within the campground to enjoy, and dogway stations are available with bags and a waste can. In the campground, there are hiking trails like the Armadillo Trail and the Middle Lake Overlook Trail that are easily accessible. The miles of trails we mentioned earlier are all available for dog walking, too. Campground rules require dogs to stay on a six-foot leash, and you will want them on a leash, too. Alligators are present in the campground like this one, and dangerous snakes are also known to live in the park. Dogs will find rabbits to chase, and we've seen armadillo roaming around at nighttime. Dogs are prohibited on the beach and in some other areas of the park due to bird protection, so ask for guidance or read current rules of the park for more details. Orange Beach and Gulf Shores are full of shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues. Nearby, you can find many shirt shops. Right outside the park is Ron John Surf Shop, and down the street is Surf Style and others. Stores are plentiful, including Walmart and Dollar General if you need quick supplies or groceries. Restaurants are plentiful. Our favorite is Pier House near Ron John, and you will find chain food as well, including at least two Waffle Houses. For entertainment, you can find mini golf, go-karts, arcades, and more. Just check Google Maps to be overwhelmed by all the retailing game-like attractions. So why would we never return to such a great campground? Our brood has traveled to Gulf State Park a few times. We're never going back. As much as we love it here, there is one thing that will keep us away. The drive down I-65 is brutal. During spring break, travelers from Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, and all the Great Lake states drive down I-65 with one destination in mind. The Gulf of Mexico, beautiful beaches, and warm water. On the way down south, the traffic builds through Louisville, Nashville, Birmingham, Montgomery, and finally southern Alabama. Car drivers take away your stopping distance, and there are many dangerous brake checks that test your nerve. We've seen some scary accidents, too. A Dodge Challenger sped by us, and two miles later, we almost ran over his engine. Seriously, his engine was in the middle of the highway in Tennessee, and he and his car were on the shoulder wondering what happened. With only two lanes, the southern traffic is more than I-65 can handle. On the way north, the drive out of Alabama is just as bad. We're never doing it again. Watch this video next to learn more about Gulf State Park, or check out our channel for great information about camping in the national parks.